Welcome to our video about the uh, safety symbols. Uh, we have 14 safety symbols that we use in our uh, science lab. And so here's kind of a brief introduction about each one. The first one we have is called disposal. Uh, as you will see, it's just a, a trash can with a no symbol over it. Uh, this means that we have something that just cannot be thrown away in the trash can or down the sink. Uh, either something environmental or something uh, health related that we need to get rid of it in a different way, in a more uh, efficient way. So when you see this, uh, just uh, wait for the teacher's instructions and we'll tell you how we want this, uh, that material to be disposed of. The next one, next symbol, is a biological symbol. And as you can see, it's kind of a weird looking symbol. Uh, a lot of uh, students are familiar with it. If they go to the doctor's office, you'll see this all over the place. A lot of students associate it with shots because that's where they put uh, a, a trash can that has that symbol on it. That's where the shots, uh, uh, shots after they're done, that's where the a doctor or a nurse will put the, uh, the shots in. Uh, this means that there's some kind of biological material uh, that may be harmful to humans. Uh, for example, bacteria, fungi, uh, blood, uh, unpreserved uh, tissues, or plant material. Uh, when you see this, you just don't want that material to be touching your, your bare skin. Um, if for some reason, you know, you get something on you that is biological, uh, the safest thing is just to wash that area with plenty of water and soap. The next symbol is what we call extreme temperature symbol. And it's a pretty si simple looking symbol. It just looks like an oven mitt. Um, so you can just kind of remember, hey, when I see an oven mitt, that's extreme temperature. Um, this is, you're going to see this when you have something uh, really, really hot or really, really cold. And the, obviously uh, that poses a danger to our skin. Uh, examples would be like boiling liquid, hot plates, dry ice, liquid uh, nitrogen, things like that. Uh, just precaution is just obviously use common sense and you know wear protective um, uh, gloves or something when you're going to be in contact with that kind of stuff. If for some reason you were to get a burn, uh, just let the teacher know and we will give you first aid. The next symbol is pretty self-explanatory. It's got a finger with a little drop of uh, blood on it. Uh, this is for a sharp object. And this one you see quite a bit in a science lab. Uh, a lot of our science um, Equipment's made of glass, and of course, glass, if you drop it or, you know, actually that, that gets knocked over, it can break. And obviously, broken glass has sharp edges. So, sharp object is a very common uh, safety symbol you'll see in our labs. Uh, obviously, uh, when you see this, uh, we're dealing with something that could puncture the skin uh, or cut the skin. Uh, for example, razor blades, pins, scalpels, pointed tools, dissecting probes, and broken glass. Uh, precaution, again, common sense. Uh, you don't want to be horsing around with this kind of stuff. You know, you have glassware out. You know, keep your eye on it. Don't be uh, messing around or, you know, hitting people or shoving or anything like that. If for some reason you do get a cut, though, let the teacher know right away. So we, we know that it happened. We can make sure it gets washed out and taken care of uh, in a, a good manner. The next symbol is the fume symbol. Uh, it's supposed to be a test tube with some uh, fumes coming out of the top. Uh, this, if you see this, it just means that this has, uh, we're dealing with a chemical that emits an odor or emits some vapors that might be, um, cause problems for people who are sensitive to that kind of thing. Um, examples would be ammonia, acetone, nail polish remover, uh, heated softballs and mothballs. Um, you know, some people are very sensitive to those kind of things. And so, um, when you see that, you just don't want to breathe it in, um, real heavily. Uh, precaution, make sure you're in a good, uh, good area with sorry good ventilation uh, in an area that's got good ventilation air circulating um, obviously you never want to smell uh, chemicals directly uh, you don't want to stick your face down in the beaker or in a test tube and, and inhale real quick um, if something is, is really toxic or real smells real bad you want to wear a mask uh, if for some reason you start to feel lightheaded or you feel like the fumes are overcoming you then you definitely want to uh, sit down uh, and get out of that area um, and you know get some fresh air the next symbol again is off you know very common in our uh, labs that's electrical we have a lot of electrical appliances that we use you know we have our microscopes are electric uh, stereoscopes uh, and a bunch of other material that we use uh, is also get, you know gets plugged in so you just need to be respectful of electricity uh, obviously you know frayed wires or something like that could cause electrical burn um, so you want to make sure that, uh, you know, especially by our sinks, 
Uh, we don't have any spills on the floor, so we're standing in water and using electrical equipment. That would not be good. Uh, if you have any questions, you're not sure something's uh, working right, or you're not sure something is um, set up right, check with your teacher. Uh, if something is not working, do not try to fix it yourself. Uh, let your teacher know, uh, and we can take care of it. The next one is an irritant. You can see it's a gloved hand. Uh, this is uh, comes out when we will deal with chemicals that can be um, irritating to the skin or um, cause discomfort. Uh, it's not necessarily a, a dangerous chemical. It's not you know you're not going to be you know obviously die from it or uh, be seriously hurt. But it's more of an inconvenience. Um, things like pollen, mothballs, steel wool, fiberglass, potassium permanganate. Um, these things will irritate the skin, make it red and itchy, uh, but you know it's not a danger. Um, it, when you're working with this not kind of stuff, though, you do kind of want to wear um, maybe a dust mask, or you might want to uh, definitely wear some gloves. Um, and if some should get on you, you definitely want to wash your hands uh, and, and r rinse it off with plenty of water. The next one is a chemical symbol. This next one uh, is a little bit more serious than the irritant. Uh, chemical symbol means that we have a chemical that could cause uh, tissue damage. Uh, things like bleaches, such as hydrogen peroxide, acids, such as sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, acids, and bases, such as pneumonia and sodium hydroxide, are some of the chemicals that we, can, we could use in our lab, which could uh, cause a burn to the upper um, level or upper layer of your t uh, skin tissue. Obviously, um, the most sensitive tissue on your body is, is your eye, and so you definitely want to wear goggles uh, when you uh, use these kind of uh, chemicals. Gloves would be good, an apron, uh, or something to cover your uh, clothing. If for some reason, though, you should get some on you, uh, don't panic. Uh, just go to the nearest sink and wash it off with plenty of uh, soap and water, and you should be fine. Also, uh, let the teacher know that you got some on you. The next chemical symbol is toxic. This is the most dangerous of our chemicals. Uh, this substance, if in you know, could cause uh, death if you know, for example, swallowed. Now, you know, most of this stuff, again, common sense. You're not going to be drinking, um, you know, poison, um, but you do need to be aware that you know it is dangerous and, and you know there's um, a potential for um, you know you getting sick or, or you know, God forbid, dying. Examples would be mercury, uh, many of our metal compounds, iodine, uh, poinsettia parts. Um, so when we, do, when we do use these chemicals, we'll give you special instructions on how to handle these things. Uh, again, you definitely want to wash your hands after the lab and after using these chemicals because uh, you don't want them to use on your hands and then going to, to lunch and eating uh, food and, and where you, some of them might not transfer to your food. Uh, this symbol is uh, commonly misconstrued by students. It's called the open flame symbol. It's kind of almost misnamed because um, a lot of students see this and they think, "Oh, we're going to deal with you know flames." No, not necessarily. Uh, you notice that you have a fire, but the no symbols around it. It means that you're got working with chemicals that um, you do not want near open flame. Uh, it means that they can be flammable or they could ignite. Uh, examples would be alcohol, kerosene, potassium permanganate. A hair and many of our clothing. Uh, so just as a precaution, uh, if we do have an open flame, we're going to have you, you know, obviously tie back your hair. Uh, we want you to avoid wearing loose clothing uh, and avoid, um, you know, fl uh, certain chemicals around open flames. Uh, of course, it's always a good idea to know where your fire extinguishers are in the room, or if you have a fire blanket. Uh, if there is a fire, it kind of goes without saying. Uh, definitely let the teacher know that there's a fire and uh, then you need to leave the area in the uh, orderly manner. Eye safety. When you see this, it just means that we're dealing with something that could cause um, potential eye danger. It uh, doesn't necessarily, necessarily be, have to be a chemical. It could be an activity where uh, things are shooting out or uh, somebody's going to be throwing things. Uh, so eye safety, you know, you only get two sets of eyes and you want to protect those because uh, you want them to last all your life. So these should be used at all times when performing or observing some ex experiments. Clothing protection is exactly what it sounds like. 
Um, a lot of chemicals will stain if it gets on clothing. Um, so you, you know, definitely want to wear these. Or it could also burn your clothing and then, of course, it will be stuck to your skin. Um, so you don't want that. So clothing protection is just, you know, again, another layer of defense against chemicals. Uh, if, if you have any kind of uh, class animals or class pets or, or you're going to be working with some animals, obviously animal safety uh, symbol would be important. Uh, just not only for the safety of yourself, but also for the safety of the animal. And the last one is radioactivity. Uh, now in our science lab, we don't have anything radioactive. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you see this, you know that it's something that um, is radioactive. You obviously need special precaution and maybe special gear uh, when working with this kind of material. I hope this helps.